Roxanne. So today we're going to take a look at a different type of a deck. It's called Mutras and it says for Awakening the Five Elements uh, deck and book set written by Allison De Nicola and the artwork is by Sabina Esmanet. I hope I pronounced their names correctly. Hard case square shape box. There is a thumb hole cut out here, and it is published by U.S. Games. Now, this is not a new deck. It's been out for about three years, three and a half years, copyright 2017. So, um, let's take a look at it. And if you guys are not familiar with Mutras, they're hand placements. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll see in a second. This is the guidebook that lays on top. And then the cars are also square shaped. At the bottom, it's just plain white inner lining. Okay, two-part box. And we'll take a look at the guidebook at the end. And here are the... Well, the backs of the cars are um, different because they, uh, they have the definition of the mutras and the benefits, instruction, and things like that. Okay, the cars come in different color depending on the elements. So we'll take a look at our card, cards and then you'll understand um, what I'm talking about. So I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see. Is that too... Alright, is that better? Alright. So... Um... Actually, let me show you the colors first. So there, there are different elements like earth, water, air. So each card has a color. And then the mutras, there are several mutras with the same colors as the element. So that's what the, the different colors are. And you'll see in a second when we go over it. As I mentioned, the cards are square. It is not gilded. Um, it's laminate. So it's a little slippery, and they are larger cards. So comparing it to a traditional side plaid back tarot card, you can see it's almost double. Not quite double, but almost. It's taller and a lot wider. Okay, so that gives you an idea as far as size-wise. So let's go ahead and take a look at the cards really quick. So the first few cards are the elements. So the first one is Earth Element. And then they have their, um, I don't know what language it is. San I don't know if it's Sanskrit or I don't know what language at the bottom. And then in the back, it has the yoga pose, sense, energy center, symbols, rules, quality. So all about the cards, okay? So earth element. Next is the water element. And as you can see, the card is number and it has the border up top and at the bottom. Okay, and then, then the back is, is all about the water element. Third, we have the fire element. Fourth is the air element. Fifth is space or ether element. Six is, now we go into the mutras. Okay, so these are the hand positions. And so the earth the earth elements so the cars for the earth element are the same colors so that's one so this is steadiness stability so it's relating to the earth right um, giving trust deepening receptivity and then we move on to the water element and you can tell by the color. So here's the water element. And then these cards go under the water element. Is it straight? So we have flow, creative power, healing, Vitality, inner sense, union, that's interesting, 
And then next is fire, I believe. Yeah, the fire element. So the cards are color coded with the fire color. So we have empowerment, assimilation, activation, purifying, assertion, manifesting. And then next is what was after the fire? Air. So air, so we have expansion, open heart, oh that's pretty heart, peace, lightness, compassion, energize, and then the last element was space, okay, ether, stillness, inner listening, spaciousness, inner wisdom, balance, universal light. Oh, that's same. It's powerful. And then at the end, we have the integration card, potential, focus, and alignment. Oops, there's one more. And wholeness. So the last card is wholeness. All right. So those are all the cards. Just it says how many cards. So there's 40. So Mutris for awakening the five elements is a special set of four, 40 vibrant cards illustrating 35 Mutris and five elements. And the Mutras for this deck were specifically selected to awaken the energy of the five elements, earth, water, fire, air, and space. And a 124-page instructional guidebook explore the numerous benefits of the Mutras. All right. So let's go ahead and zoom out while we take a look at the guidebook. All right. So this is a hard cover. As I mentioned, it's published by um, U.S. Games. Copyright is 2017. And Table of Contents. And these are glossy pages. Introduction, Awakening the Five Elements, Background with History of Mutras, The Deck, Meet the Five Elements, and then it goes over the five elements. And then it explains how how each finger um, coordinate with each element. So your thumb is fire, index finger is air, middle finger is space, fourth finger is earth, and pinky finger is water. How to practice mutras, ways to use the mutra deck, intuition in the cars, mutras, and meditation. Five element spread. So there's different spread. Two car spread. Five element reference. So this is a nice um, reference chart. Sense, earth, sense, movement, taste, symbol, astro. Oh, it even has to astrological signs. So very um, useful. Helpful that, and then it even has your aura in here. The doshas. So if you're um, if you're familiar with yoga, you this you may be more interested in this type of deck than it goes into the cards. So there's a picture, full color picture of the card, and then the explanation. Yoga poses, sense, smell. Let me see if that's the same as what's on the back of the card. Oh, that's nice. So what's in the book is what's in the back of the card minus the, the, the large paragraph section, practice section. But the rest are in the back of the card. So that's convenient so you don't have to pull up the book unless you want more in depth. So basically, yeah, each card has a full glossy page. 
and then the explanation. And in the back, there's blank pages for notes about the artist, very pretty lady, and about the author, beautiful people. A hundred and twenty three pages. All right, so that gives you an idea of the guidebook, and that wraps up the quick walkthrough of the uh, Mutras deck. And I believe that there's another Mutras deck out there. Um, I didn't purchase that one. But I thought it would be um, good to use for meditation or along with your yoga practice if you want to get into yoga or if you practice yoga, especially with you know stressful days, stressful times. Um, it will be interesting. So I'm going to start using these and see if I feel any difference. So I hope you enjoy that. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you again in the next video. Bye!